Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick video tour of Spring Hill co-housing community in Stroud. Now this is the vehicle axis, which is at the edge of the site. All the cars are parked here. Uh, there is a space for pretty much every, there's 35 units and I think there's 32 car park spaces in total. And the 35 units are for about 70, 80 odd people. And I'll give you a quick walking tour of the site. There's a range of size of buildings, there's studio flats to these properties here which are four and five bedroom houses, family homes. Every property has got some kind of outdoor space, whether it's a balcony or a garden or normally both, or norm numerous gardens. Yeah. Cob ovens seem to be quite a quite a popular feature. There's a very pretty one there. They haven't got much space, the whole plot is two acres, um, so there's not much space for growing and what have you, but there's quite a few little raised beds dotted around here and there. And there's a very sleep, steep site, which increased building costs somewhat. Um, but it also affords great views of the surrounding area, surrounding hills. And this is like the central lane. So no cars ever come down here at all, which is nice, so the kids can play freely. That large rounded building there is the communal house. On the top floor is the sort of dining room, eatery, kitchen. The middle floor is like a communal lounge, living room, and there's a games room, workshop, and laundrette on the ground floor. Um, here's a nice circular seating area, nice feature. Down here, I think they also purchased this set of old garages. They were originally going to go for less cars, but in the end they ended up having almost one car space per house. And here, this is what they call the secret garden, where you can see over the fence are lots of chickens. So they have chickens and compost beds. And in the distance there, you can see, keep the chickens out, there's some raised beds there where they grow some vegetables and salads and stuff. You can see the, the steepness of the slope and the views and surrounding hills. And then we'll walk down here, which is the back of some of the houses. You can see there some nice gardens. Lots of balconies. Looks like someone's building a nice, great big new raised bed there. A little playhouse for children. Swings, there's quite a few swings on site as well. As we can see. This um, dip is part of the drainage system because it's on such a steep hill. When it rains massively, this helps stop flooding in the road below significantly. And there's the communal house again. And they pay roughly about 10, person, 10 pounds per person per month, I believe, for the cost, the shared cost of cleaning and paying the utilities bills, etc., in the communal house. And then we'll just walk down to this pedestrian entrance. As you might expect in a community like this, there's quite a lot of bikes around the place and composting, wormery there more outdoor public seating common feature yeah. part of the uh, deal is that all adults 18 and over have to cook for, for the community once a month 
but that means that the rest of the month you can guilt free just go and eat and don't have to clean up or wipe down tables or anything and the current price is £2.70 per head for a full meal which is very reasonable and they're quite lucky that on their doorstep literally is a small little park with a little children's enclosure there as well um, so let's just walk back up to the communal house and I'll see if I can show you around on the inside a little bit lots of wood stores as well although I think it's mostly heated with gas um, there's also quite a few cob ovens as I mentioned before and some wood burners quite a few wood burners for heating as well they're all all the buildings here are super insulated and triple glazed which means they don't need much heating at all <laughs> 